joins us now from her post. I understand that is the speaker's scrum mm -hmm. speaking with reporters happening right behind <laughs> her right now. What are we hearing? Live television, guys. You know, yes, the Speaker of the House is talking right behind us, giving updates on where they stand at this point in the government funding battle. His plan going forward today is to vote on four different spending bills. They're part of that 12 overall appropriations packages that his conference has long been debating what those top line numbers should be. It seems at this point that they have enough consensus to try to move on four of these. They include things like military funding and veterans funding. But this is also an attempt by by McCarthy to show good faith with some of those hardliners before they move on to a continuing resolution with border provisions in it. A continuing resolution effectively just buys them a little more time, 30 or 45 days. It's not clear that's down, Ali. All federal workers will be without a paycheck until a deal is reached. But there are exceptions, right? There are essential workers who will still have to go to work even without a paycheck. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, you think about people who work for TSA and who are working in air traffic, Ryan Zinke, talking about what he did during his tenure the last time the government shut down. That's something that we'll see from the agency side when push comes to shove. Of course, here in Congress, the key focus is trying to avoid a shutdown at all. But we know that negotiations have been thorny. They've been difficult. It's why we're spending so much time with the speaker over here on my right, as he's trying to show that he has the votes to move forward, even though we're waiting to to see if that's actually the case. All right, we'll let you get back to it, Ali. I know you're right there in the mix. NBC News Capitol <laughs> Hill correspondent Ali Vitali, thank you. Back to the wall.